anybody that's planting wheat for dual purpose or even harvesting for hay, they're going to want to make sure they get a lot of forage in the fall, and they don't want to have that forage delayed by insects. They're going to have to worry about uh, you know rainfall and that kind of thing. They certainly don't want to have it delayed by insects. And uh, two of the ones that are really frequent out here now are grasshoppers uh, and potential for fall armyworm. We seem to get that about every year now. So for grasshoppers, a lot of times they, they tend to hang more around the edges of a field than they do to go all the way through it. So um, a farmer needs to probably be looking to make sure that the, you know, the, the grasshoppers are not overwhelming the edges of the field. But fall armyworms will deposit their eggs anywhere. So it's really important that they, uh, as, as the, the wheat is emerging, that they start looking for signs that the, the activity by the caterpillars as they're hatching. Uh, and of course, we talk about that a lot of times. That's with window painting. It's, it's an early indicator of a fall armyworm infestation. Then they need to go out and scout to make sure that they have, uh, that they're actually seeing the armyworms themselves. Um, there's a lot of ways to do it, but for me, just the simplest way is to get a coat hanger like this, which is about two thirds of a square foot. If you get uh, six or nine of these squares and take the counts of the caterpillars in there, you're going to get an idea of how many per, per square yard or how many per square foot that you actually have. So, uh, and we usually take a, uh, we usually suggest a if you have two to three per square foot or two to three per linear foot of row in your wheat, that you need to, to, to probably treat. The key to treating for fall armyworms, particularly this time of year when the, the wheat's small, there's not a lot of foliage, is to make sure if you're gonna make an application of an insecticide to use as much carrier as you can. I, if I'm doing ground rig, I wouldn't want to use anything less than 20 gallons per acre because you got to get it covered on the ground and on the foliage itself so that any caterpillars that are crawling around get in contact with the insecticide. We're always dependent on how things happen south of here as they start moving north. And uh, if we're in an extended drought, that's probably an indication that they're not going to do as well as they would um, otherwise uh, in their overwintering grounds. They won't build up as fast because uh, survival rates are probably lower. I'm always hesitant to try and predict whether an insect's going to be a problem or not because uh, weather changes, things changes. Uh, if we get a hurricane that grabs things from the south and blows them up, that could, that could make a difference as well. So, uh, but right now it just seems like the fall armyworm activity is kind of low compared to what it has been the last couple years.